Hi everybody, meteorologist Matt Gray and the Four News Now for Stillwater Weather Center. Here we are, just a few days away from the start of 2023. We're finally seeing at least a little bit of a small break in what has been a very active weather pattern over the past couple of weeks. The flurries fade away. We'll have cooler temperatures tonight. We'll get down to the 20s. We'll have more snow, however, on the way. So this break not going to last very long. Thursday night and Friday morning, I expect it to be snowy. And we have dry and seasonal weather for New Year, so a longer break from the act from the action is afoot. As for tonight, uh, partly to mostly cloudy skies. We'll see some areas of patchy fog after all the moisture we've had for the couple of days. Temperatures falling into the upper 20s. I don't think they'll be that much cooler than that. You can see kind of about 27 for most places is going to be the drop-off mark. A little bit cooler in Moses Lake at 24, 22 in Omac and down into the low teens in Winthrop. But you can see upper 20s and low 30s around the Spokane Coeur d'Alene Metro. That's about where we will bottom out. As we go through the day on Thursday, we'll start out with maybe a few peaks of sun, but we'll cloud over fairly quickly as that next storm comes in. And look for a little bit of snow right around the evening commute time. Not expect it to be any major impact, but you certainly might see some, uh, some flying flakes as you are driving home from work. So here we go. Kind of watch how the flurries dissipate. Pretty nice looking morning. Here's noon, however, and things are already going to be going down in the Cascades. Omak, Winthrop, down into the Chelan and Wenatchee areas. Stevens and Snoqualmie Passes by lunchtime. We'll be seeing snow. We'll be seeing rain in a mix around Moses Lake of the Tri-Cities. And there are those showers Thursday evening. Now, as we headed to Friday, most of this is going to be in the very early Friday morning hours. Our computer model showing it as a mix. I uh, think this is a little bit too warm. That has been the trend with this model so far. And so do think this is going to end up being all heavy, wet snow of about one to three inches or so that we'll have to be dealing with on Friday morning. After that, some nice weather, very seasonable temperatures, low 30s, lows in the 20s. That's pretty typical for this time of the year. Next chance for some snowy weather will come around the middle of next week. We'll keep you updated on all the developments of the forecast at KXLY.com, KXLY Plus, and the 4 News Now YouTube channel. Have a great rest of your Wednesday. We'll talk to you again soon.